Hey guys, welcome to Pembers Gaming World. Today's video is all about uh, RPCS3 and in particular Motorstorm Pacific Rift and how I get it running. Okay, in a minute I'm going to show you the configuration, but the reason why I'm using Cheat Engine is to slow the game's process, but when you see it actually running, it's not slowed down. But what it does is boost the frame rate, right? Um, it, when the frame rate's on screen, it will say around about 60, but you're not getting 60 frames a second. I know it sounds complicated, but it runs at a more a near flaw, flawless 30 FPS with the odd, you know, slowdown in gameplay, which is a pain in the ass, but it does happen. But for the most part, it plays really well. So you're basically locked onto the RPCS3 process, changed it to 0.5, which is half the speed, and these are the settings. You'll see the game played really, don't worry. Take a quick pause the video of what I'm looking at. There's the GPU. Pause the video of what I'm looking at. Audio. I don't enable time stretching because this game is affected differently by a cheat engine. You know, it's 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 a lot different anyway. Um, advanced. Relax Z called Zinc. Relaxed. What the hell is that? <laughs> Driver wake up delay 350, whatever that is. V bank frequency 120 hertz. Clock scale is normal. Right, you sleep only. Um, debug is just use G GPU texture scaling. Okay. Um, and here's the game. Oh, before you see the game. Um, this gameplay you're going to see is interpolated with this program here. It's called, I don't know if you can see that, I've operated on a 4K screen. It's called MeGUI and it's a video interpolation program. It's the best thing I've ever used for making imitation 60 FPS gameplays, but they do look better than 30, you know? Anyway, this is Motorstorm Pacific Rift, 60 FPS, 4K simulated. Thank you very much for watching. 